God, would you impress it upon our hearts to be more than just another church, just another conference or another ministry. May we live and breathe for the inheritance you've laid before us, God. I say in the name of Jesus Christ over my generation, Father, send your spirit of revival. Your spirit of revival, God. Send your spirit of revival to hover over us in the secret place, God. In the darkness, just as your spirit hovered over the shapeless waters in the beginning. To bring about creative manifestation, to begin building something where there was once nothing. To absolute your vision for mankind and not our own goal. Master, Master, Savior, Savior, Artist, artist. you are the provider and we stand in awe of your wisdom. wisdom. Just pour out, Father. Pour out your divine essence into our human frame and explode with glory upon the earth, God. Just come, Father. Come, Father. Fire of God pour down in our generation, in our time. Ah, This is the dawning of a new era. This is the dawning of a new era in which those who are chosen will be sent forth. Ah, come on! It's time to wake up! It's time to wake up and step into our destiny as a generation. We have become a church that is so consumed in doing things for God that we've forgotten to do things with God. You want to see glory? Stand before the throne. You want to see power and healing break out in a real, tangible way? Go before the Creator. Power and majesty proceed from His throne like a river, sweeping up everyone that touches it. Here's a foundation to build your ministry on. The throne of God is both the beginning and the end of all true spiritual authority. And from that place we are sent, to that place we return. And this is the cycle with which all chosen heirs of God must become familiar. God has given me a vision about what it means to really be sent from before the throne. And there, there was a time that I was seeking God and, and I saw the throne in front of me, but I couldn't make it out. I couldn't see it clearly. It was hazy. And as I was wrestling with God about what it really meant that I couldn't make out the throne, he said to me, Maddie, this throne is not a throne at all. This throne is an altar. Beloved, before we even approach God, we must understand that for us, This throne is not a place of exaltedness. It is a place of sacrifice and surrender. It is a place of transparency. This is the place we must be sent from. But it is the nature of sacrifice to bring about authority. And as the new era approaches, we hold fast to our hope in Christ that as we lay down the things that we think define us, He becomes the thing that defines us. And we become the very likeness of the Creator God in a world that is starving to see His face.